Hey everyone, Justin Odisho here, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a mirror reflection or light refraction glitch effect in Photoshop. So it's really simple, it just requires some clipping masks and a couple layers. So first, have your photo open that you want to create this effect on. I find that it works well with uh, front-on, face portraits, and stuff like that. So I'm going to use this picture here, and then you want to create a brand new layer. So I'll use the shortcut Shift-Command-N on a Mac or you could go to layer new layer now on this blank new layer you want to create a couple shapes so grab your rectangular marquee tool and you want to just create a thin selection right on the edge of the border it's gonna be a different size for your photo but you can see the proportions that I'm using for my photo it's a pretty thin stripe and then you just want to right click and select fill and fill that stripe in with the, it doesn't matter, we'll just select contents black. We're just going to be using this as our clipping mask shape. So now you can right click and deselect that shape that we just made and we're going to do a bit of duplication. So I'll use the shortcut command J on a Mac, however you can also right click and duplicate the layers. Now you want to make sure under view that you have snap checked on. This just means that Photoshop will snap your shapes and movements onto certain guidelines. So that means when I grab my move tool and I move it, you can see that it snaps right on the edge of the previous layer, creating a solid block with no pixels in between. So I'm going to duplicate my layer one more time and then I'll just snap those three stripes right next to each other. And then you want to take the middle stripe and then just delete it. So I'll take my middle stripe here, you can see, and I'll press delete to delete that layer. Now what we want to do is fill up the entire canvas with this alternating stripe. And since we have snap checked on, Photoshop's pretty smart. So if I just duplicate that stripe and move it over, Photoshop will snap it so that both of them have the same amount of space in between. And then to speed things up, you could just hold shift and select all the layers and then right click and duplicate them all or use the shortcut and you can just start doing it exponentially faster until you reach the end of the canvas. So I'll just do that and we'll get to the end of the canvas pretty quickly. So once you reach the end of the canvas, just click on the very top layer, go all the way down to that first layer while holding shift and select them all. So now we have all of them selected and then you could just right click and merge these layers together or use the shortcut command E on a Mac. So now I have all of those stripes covering the entire canvas on one solid layer and then I can click back onto my original photo layer and duplicate that so I'll use command J on a Mac or right click and duplicate it and then I'll drag that above that stripe layer I just made. Now here we're going to create a clipping mask to tell Photoshop to place all the contents of this layer within those stripes. So if we go to layer create clipping mask or we can use that shortcut there you'll see that it adds this little arrow onto the photo which means that this photo now lives within the boundaries of those stripes and since we have that photo underneath that's the same exact thing you can't tell but this is what's actually happening right now so that means if I take this layer that we just clipped onto the stripes and I grab my move tool I can move it around left or right with the arrow keys you start to see that glitchy mirror or light reflection happening because we've now displaced the photo a couple pixels left or right and it's creating all those cool little stripe movement glitches. Now you can see on the very end here since we moved it to the right it's not filling up the black stripes all the way and to fix this you could just do command T or edit free transform and just drag that image all the way to the left so it covers them all or you could just hold shift and make the whole thing bigger if you want to do your uh, displacement that way but pretty much just play around with displacing it a couple pixels you could stretch it out or make it larger or just move it and that'll give you your final result which is a really cool mirror reflected type of glitchy displacement in Photoshop. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave a like and let me know if you had any questions in the comments below. You guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Justin Odie Show to stay tuned with behind the scenes and more. And definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.